Our latest writers group meeting centered on juxtaposing different sets of ideas, book titles, people, and clothing, and to come up with new ideas. And one of the metaphors here was that it came from a book called Doomed to Repeat. The first chapter of this is called Afghanistan Again, how people have always had trouble conquering Afghanistan. Because it's like books on the shelf. Uh, every valley is culturally different from the next valley. So people do not have one common story. As long as you give people one story, then they're much easier to conquer. And uh, this means uh, Afghanistan perhaps as much has as much to teach us these days as we have to teach Afghanistan, despite the number of schools being built there. Though one of the techniques we were talking about employing was placing books beside each other and coming up with new meanings or ideas based on the titles of the books. One of the most uh, diverse seems to be the Nanny Diaries. You can match it with a lot, uh, quite a few other titles, like When All You Have Is Hope or When You Are Engulfed in Flames. And, or doomed to repeat, I suppose, if you're having a tough time with the kids. This is because we had three children at the group, and so they made up a substantial proportion of the meeting, and they contributed quite a lot. They drew pictures and were quite uh, insistent in throwing in ideas and making sure we included them. But one of them was like, uh, like uh, employing the Afghanistan strategy. He refused to admit that he could read. And it, it seemed interesting to me that uh, uh, children are starting to learn this strategy today to either feign ignorance or, or deliberately make themselves uh, different from other people by claimed illiteracy. Because, and I wonder if, if they're like me and they're sensing that there's some danger in having everybody getting point in on the same story. Uh, here's another, so we're all playing this amalgamation polka, combining these titles. And one of the more useful titles I found is one, A Short History of Tractors in Ukrainian. It seems to be capable of, of being blended with quite a few other book titles like The Hundred Foot Journey, what happens when you can't get your tractor to go very far or when all you have is hope. Uh, here's a natural issue, that's another title that could be mixed with the Nanny Diaries. Uh, so we're all looking at combining these things like uh, books on a shelf or clothing on a shelf and it seemed that one of the people was commenting how the bigger you get, the harder it is to find diversity in clothing. Everything seems to go black. The bigger you get in the clothing world, the blacker the world becomes, which is uh, something we have to think of when we're trying to slim ourselves down in this cultural age.